Welcome to Electrochemistry class. Okay, today's topic is fuel cell. Okay, we will learn today fuel cell. At first, uh, this is the battery. Battery is, uh, you know, already electrochemical cell. Uh, battery is uh, when a uh, collection of two or more electrochemical cell in which is stored chemical energy is converted electric energy so battery is a collection of two or more electrochemical cell in which uh, chemical energy is converted into electrical energy this another definition two or more electrochemical cells electrically ele interconnected uh, each of which contain two electrodes and uh, an electrolyte uh, there is a redox uh, r redox reaction occur i mean uh, oxidation reduction occur that occur uh, at this electrodes and convert electrical energy electrochemical energy into electrical energy in 1800 uh, alessandro volta invented the first modern battery there are two types of battery actually uh, chemical energy uh, physical uh, chemicals physical energy uh, uh, chemical battery primary secondary others fuel cell uh, secondary battery lead acid battery lithium ion battery uh, primary battery is dry cell uh, others uh, were fuel cell and physical energy is solar energy thermal energy nuclear energy type of batteries uh, batteries actually mainly two types uh, uh, primary batteries and secondary batteries primary batteries uh, uh, here uh, electrochemical reactions occur is not reversible reactions all during the discharging uh, all chemical compounds are permanently changed and electric energy is released until original compounds are completely adjusted thus the cells can be used only once time but in the secondary uh, batteries uh, 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 the electrochemical reaction is reversible here uh, charging and discharging b uh, both reaction occurs uh, so uh, if in a chemical compounds uh, can be reconstituted by the application of electrical potential between electrode injecting energy into the cell such cell can be discharged and recharged many times so secondary batteries can be used many times uh, secondary batteries is lead storage battery uh, primary batteries is dry cell dry cell can be used one time okay fuel cell uh, here this is a one kind of electrochemical cell uh, here is a f uh, uh, fuel is used in uh, in a fuel cell fuel is used uh, like hydrogen is used here as a fuel so a fuel cell is an electrochemical cell that convert the chemical energy of a fuel uh, like hydrogen is usually used as a fuel and oxidizing agent into electricity through a pair of redox reaction so here we know all uh, batteries uh, battery uh, and uh, cell uh, there is a electrochemical redox reaction occurs also in a fuel cell redox reaction occurs this is also electrochemical cell uh, here is a used fuel here fuel is used and uh, oxidizing agent uh, ox uh, is used into here all these things into uh, uh, convert into, into electricity through pair of redox reaction like one mm, fuel cell is proton exchange membrane this is also called hydrogen uh, cell uh, in this cell uh, uses hydrogen gas and oxygen gas as a fuel the product of the reaction in the cell are water, electricity and heat. So what is fuel cell? Fuel cell is an electrochemical cell that convert uh, chemical energy of fuel into electricity through pair of reaction. So fuel cell is an electrochemical cell that convert chemical energy of a fuel, uh, usually hydrogen and an oxidizing agent into electricity through a pair of redox reactions and in a fuel cell reaction main products are uh, water electricity and uh, heat this is for a hydrogen fuel cell type of fuel cells uh, so we uh, know this fuel cell 
uh, fuel is mainly hydrogen is used so but uh, on but come on but uh, but we should uh, uh, f to find out uh, type of uh, fuel cell we need uh, electrolyte because it is a different electrolyte uh, common things we cannot use uh, for uh, a differentiation uh, for uh, identification we will use an uncommon thing as a electrolyte here uh, will be uh, not used uh, fuel here we will use depend on the variation of electrolyte fuel cells can be classified into different types when proton exchange membrane fuel cell proton exchange membrane fuel cell uh, in short p E M F C phosphoric acid fuel cell P A F C P A F C here phosphoric acid is electrolyte solid oxide fuel cell uh, S O F C alkaline fuel cell A F C here uh, potassium hydroxide is used as electrolyte molten carbonate fuel cell M C F C. Uh, this is uh, molten sodium carbonate is used here as a electrolyte. Direct methanol fuel cell D M F C. Okay, this is the hydrogen fuel cell. Uh, hydrogen fuel cell here is a uh, uh, fuel is a uh, hydrogen. Hydrogen is injected uh, here. Hydrogen is uh, injected. Uh, oxygen also uh, uh, used as a oxidant uh, and there is a electrolyte uh, electrolyte is potassium hydroxide uh, this is two uh, uh, electrode anode and cathode anode and uh, anode and cathode uh, here anode mm, mm, anode mm, anode and cathode are oxidation reduction reaction occurs uh, in here anode uh, in anode uh, hydrogen hydrogen uh, released uh, electrons so here oxidation reaction occur at anode uh, in the cathode oxygen gain ox uh, electrons uh, so here uh, there is a redox reaction occur and both form water in this reaction so and form uh, energy so we look uh, again look this picture mm, no Okay, this cell, uh, hydrogen cell contains porous carbon electrode, anode and cathode in which nanoparticles of platinum based catalyst remains deposited. Uh, the cell contains porous, look, uh, this cell. Uh, this electrode contain this electrode contain porous graphite with catalyst powders this uh, porous graphite uh, catalyst powder both electrode contain porous graphite electrode powder uh, a catalyst powder uh, they act as a anode and cathode cathode porous graphite catalyst powder the um, <laughs> cathode and anode sorry Sorry, sorry, this um, this cell contains porous carbon electrode, uh, anode and cathode, in which nanoparticle of platinum based catalyst remain deposited. The fuel cell gaseous uh, hydrogen and oxidizing agent gas oxygen don't react directly, but instead of flow into the separate cell components both electrode remain in electrolyte hot aqueous potassium hydroxide okay mm, here uh, fuel cell this fuel in this fuel cell gaseous hydrogen and oxidizing agent uh, gaseous oxygen don't react directly but instead flow into separate cell compartments both electrode uh, electrode i mean electrode anode and cathode remain in a depot uh, dipped in a 
a hot aqueous potassium hydroxide so both mm, here both electrode and anode uh, dipped in a uh, dipped in a potassium hydro uh, hot potassium hydroxide electrolyte both electrode is uh, dipped uh, so uh, fuel uh, fuel hydrogen gas is absorbed onto catalyst catalyst and in contact with uh, electrolyte potassium hydroxide two molecules of hydrogen oxidized and anode it uh, release oxygen and become uh, sorry release hydrogen uh, released oxygen and become oxidized at the anode uh, fuel hydrogen gas is uh, absorbed onto catalyst and in contact with the electrolyte two molecules of hydrogen oxidize at anode here two molecules on their core contains uh, porous graphite with catalyst powder okay this uh, uh, contact uh, hydrogen in contact absorbed on the catalyst and it become oxidized releasing two electrons so here oxidation reaction occurs and uh, and electrode this electron uh, flow in the outer circuit and this electron flow from the uh, uh, outer circuit this electron flow to the outer circuit and here come electrons uh, at the cathode oxygen is reduced gain this electron this electron and become reduced electrode half cell reaction and overall cell reaction are given below uh, look this electron half cell reaction the hydrogen uh, hydrogen gain uh, lose oxygen from water and uh, at the uh, cathode oxygen this is water h2o uh, h2o the at uh, the reduction occur at the cathode it gain uh, oxygen so reduction occur at the cathode from uh, from mm, uh, potential plus uh, po 0 0.40 0. so overall solution is here this is common water water common uh, OH OH common cut so here remain two hydrogen here remain one oxygen here remain two hydrogen water at overall cell reaction potential is uh, plus 1.23 volt so hydrogen cell uh, potential is hydrogen cell hydrogen cell reaction potential is plus 1.3 1.23 like to 23 volt current is produced Uh, oxidation reaction occur at anode hydrogen lose four electron hydrogen lose four electron uh, so here oxidation reaction occur at the anode hydrogen gas uh, is absorbed onto onto catalyst uh, in contact with electrolyte uh, potassium hydroxide two molecules two molecules hydrogen oxidized at anode two molecules two molecules uh, hydrogen oxidized an anode and electron flow in the outer circle this electron flow uh, to the outer circle at the uh, reduction occur at the cathode mm. so this two ox uh, the four electrons gain uh, oxygen and it is it become reduced so now the overall reactions overall reaction is uh, what will be now overall reaction mm, overall reaction overall reactions uh, you just don't cut here this uh, in left hand side for this tense cut for electron uh, electron right hand side left hand side for electron cut uh, yeah, okay. 
so here uh, left hand side is remaining here two electrons two water molecules are four water molecules so two water molecules will remain right hand side the overall reaction is Uh, hydrogen gas uh, hydrogen and oxygen gas from two molecules water So overall uh, potential is uh, uh, the current is produced as plus 1.23 1.23 volt uh, is current is produced okay this reaction is occur at hydrogen cell hydrogen fuel cell hydrogen fuel cell the redox reaction this is the redox reaction of hydrogen fuel cell redox reaction of hydrogen fuel cell Okay, this is the redox reaction of hydrogen fuel cell. Now we see advantage of hydrogen fuel cell. Advantages of hydrogen fuel cell. Uses of fuel. Production of electricity through fuel cell uh, is more safe and advantageous. More safe and advantageous. In fuel cell, renewable energy can also be used. Hydrogen can is a renewable energy source, so it can be used as a uh, so in a hydrogen fuel cell renewable energy source can be used. Fuel cells are easily trans transportable, therefore are easily used in the spacecraft. Here Apollo uh, spacecraft was used hydrogen fuel cell. Here uh, fuel is uh, formed, uh, electricity is formed, and also pure water was found. Uh, for using hydrogen fuel cell so fuel cell can be used in the spacecraft apollo uh, uh, spacecraft fuel cell was used our fuel cells uh, uh, energy source is renewable it can be used uh, once uh, again and again okay optimization of pollution uh, the other fossil fuel cell they form the carbon dioxide uh, and other uh, global warming gas, uh, uh, greenhouse gases, but in fuel cell uh, produce pure water. Uh, there is no sound pollution. So optimization uh, 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 pollution occurs. Uh, there occurs no environmental pollution in producing electricity by fuel cell. Uh, there uh, occurs no sound pollution. And the byproduct of fuel cells are pure water. Others byproduct, uh, other fossil fuel byproduct is carbon dioxide. It is not, uh, it is environmental pollutants and NOx gas, sulfur dioxide gas. But in a, a fuel cell, a byproduct is pure water. It can be, we can drink this pure, pure water. So instead of uh, pollution, it form pure water in hydrogen fuel cell. Availi availability fuel cell. Uh, f fossil fuel can be uh, will be reduced one day in greater if we use great extent but hydrogen ca could be used uh, uh, in a proper way for the production of electricity hydrogen can be produced in remote area in future hydrogen production by elect electrolysis of water could be more economical which in turn would make the use of fuel cell more universal hydrogen gas could be made using solar panel so hydrogen uh, the fuel in a fuel cell hydrogen can be uh, 
uh, found everywhere uh, if we um, by uh, we can find uh, hydrogen by uh, electrolysis of water if we uh, electrolysis water we can find uh, uh, fuel hydrogen uh, and hydrogen uh, fuel can be used in a remote area this remote area we can use uh, uh, hydrogen as a fuel and okay this is so this is the advantage of hydrogen fuel cell thank you